Autumn Nation series, folks. There's a lot of rugby on this weekend. Uh, one of the first games in terms of men's international 15s games you can watch uh, is the Italians taking on the Samoans. Now, these two teams do not play each other very much, so there's not that much of a history we can go through, but we'll go and give it a crack. Uh, you guys can let us know your thoughts on how this game may be going to pan out. I should say, if you want to get yourself a relatively cheap Samoan jersey, one of the cheapest international kits you can buy, check out Level Rugby. Link down in the description. It was like £22 the last time I checked, which is like a $40 something rugby dollar rugby jersey here in NZ anyway, which is um, yeah cheaper than most. Um, the Italians ranked 14th in the world and at home. Uh, playing the 11th ranked Samoan team, remembering that this Samoan team uh, went and won the Pacific Nations Cup this year, which was kind of unexpected, the competition being held in Fiji. Uh, they managed to go three from three, including a win over the Fijians at home. So uh, the Samoan team maybe is tracking well, and they've got a couple of uh, big names who'll be making their debuts from the bench in this one. But we will start with the Italians. Uh, the Italians, remember... Um, played the likes of like Portugal, Romania, and Georgia uh, in the July test. Their final match against Georgia away from home uh, didn't go that well from an Italian perspective, but they did get a chance to kind of uh, blood some of their younger talent. So it's kind of a mixed team this time. Uh, Fischetti, Nicotero, and Ferrari is the front rows. So it's kind of pretty stable. Lucchese uh, is the guy who drops to the bench, but uh, those two guys have been kind of regular uh, either 2 or 16 between them. Uh, CC and Rutza are the second row. So Rutza have been playing a fair bit of 6. Uh, back into, I want to say, more familiar uh, second row. But I mean, the guy seems to float between 5 and 6 easily. And uh, he's easily one of the most ball-talented, ball-handling-talented uh, forwards in the Italian pack for sure. CC's a bit of a... a Big unit. Uh, Zuliani, Lamaro, and Canone. That's Lorenzo Canone. Uh, the back row. Lorenzo, I think he's only like 21 years old. He's on debut. So that means the likes of a Toa Halafi, he has to drop to the bench. Lamaro is your tackling machine, and he's your captain at seven. And Zuliani uh, comes back into the 23 after not featuring against Georgia uh, at six. Vani is also back fit and uh, rejoins the Italian squad at halfback. Paolo Garbisi, he was on the bench for that Georgia game. Um, he's a really talented guy, uh, you know, just fun, exciting guy to watch, loves taking the ball to the line, loves a wee dink over the top, sometimes kicks a wee bit too much, but that's a stat I guess we'll get to in a second, but he's certainly uh, a classy operator at 10, so pleasing to see him there. Maurice and Brex are your midfield, Ioane is there on the left wing, remember he's returned to Australia, being an Aussie born guy, uh, to play for the Melbourne Rebels in Super Rugby next year, so... It's a bit of a weird one, but he's been playing for the Italian national team, so he rejoins the Italians to play in this competition, but I guess he'll head back to Australia and to his family to play for his club. So I'm pleased to see he's not just left the Italian national team behind, because in terms of pure defender-beating, ball-carrying wingers, he's one of the best in the world. Uh, Pierre Bruno is limited on caps, but he's got some pretty fleet feet. Uh, he's on the right wing, and Tommaso Allen, usually a 10 uh, kind of completes a dual playmakers thing uh, for the Italians by slotting it at fullback. Uh, some of the other replacements, Neymar Chicharelli, Canone, that's Nicolo uh, Halafihi Albanese. Then you've got Enrico Lucin uh, on the bench, and then Minoncello is also on the bench as well. The likes of Capuozzo, he's injured, Paravani is injured, Fusa is injured, so um, not the full kind of... I mean, Cup Watson is a fun guy to watch. Everyone loves that guy with the fleet feet at the back, but it'll be um, fun to see Tommaso Allen uh, have a crack there as well. But uh, he's been playing well for Quinn. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty strong-looking Italian team, you'd have to say. Uh, the Samoan team, like I mentioned, Pacific Nations Cup champions ranked above the Italians, but they are away from home. Uh, it's always a bit of a mission for these guys to get the kind of prep time uh, needed. Some of these guys would have been playing for their clubs just a week ago, but... Uh, fingers crossed they've um, still been able to build on some of the kind of combinations they had in the Pacific Nations Cup. Uh, Jordan Lay is back starting at loose head. Lamb starts at hooker this week and Michael Ala Alatoa 
uh, continues on at tight end. He's the captain, so I expect him to crank through a fair few minutes. Uh, Brian Alanuese is getting his debut in the uh, second row. I think he's been playing his rugby in France, so congratulations to him. First Samoa cap, Chris Vui. Uh, we know all about him, talented operator for Bristol, and um, likewise for Samoa, he's at the uh, number five jersey. But, I mean, maybe the star of the show for the entire Samoan squad is your guy Theo McFarland on the blind side. I've been watching the Premiership, and uh, the dude has just been amazing for Saracens. He's winning line-out restarts, he's scoring tries, he's making tackles, winning turnovers, getting line breaks. He is just like a natural-born athlete. So, yeah, man, keep your eye out for him at six. Taufua and Lee, uh, seven and eight, kind of similar to their Pacific Nations Cup positions. And Nari is at nine, Yona is at ten. That's also pretty steady as she goes. So good to see, even if these guys haven't been playing together for a while, that's still the same combinations from the previous Samoan camp. Uh, Leua and Sotini as a new midfield, so that could be an area for the Italians to maybe target, but they've made changes in the same area. Ah Wong and Alapati Leua are the wingers, and then Tawala is there at fullback. You've got a few big names, though, uh, on the bench. I'm looking at Jeff Tumanga Allen, former All Black, I think one cap All Black. Uh, he's able to um, make use of that new law, able to switch um, to Samoa, so congratulations to him. Uh, you've got Talani Seal, who's, um, if you're a Super Rugby fan, you would have seen him play, very physical. Uh, Tala Gray, and then uh, Duncan Paiawa. I think Paiawa only ever played one game for the Wallabies, and it was uh, against the Barbars. But he's been in the Wallabies squad a handful of times, but um, Duncan Paiawa, kind of 10 12 cover. Um, good playmaker. He's been playing his rugby in France for a wee while since he left the Reds. So, yeah, man, there's, um, what is that, four debutants on the bench. But uh, certainly, like I said, some some pretty big names. Tom Matani is still there. Alocio is still there. So, um, yeah, man, it's a, it's a pretty tidy-looking Samoa squad as well. I know this game is not going to get the same billing as some of the other games this weekend, but I reckon this one could be a really good watch. Uh, I don't have stats on the Samoans, sadly, but uh, for the Italians, their stats are usually a bit easier to get your hands on. This year, their line-out has been pretty accurate, which has been pleasing. They've obviously shipped a lot of points in the Six Nations, but remember, they did get a win in the Six Nations, which was kind of a high point, and then they lost to Georgia, which was a bit of a low point. Uh, it's interesting to see that, though, they put a lot more boot to ball in the Six Nations against the kind of bigger teams than they do against the likes of Portugal, Romania, and Georgia, where they didn't kick that much at all. Like, we're talking like 30, 40 kicks against the Six Nations teams and like less than 20 kicks against the uh, the kind of smaller teams, if you want to put it that way. So it will be a fun one to see kind of what um, what take the, uh, the Italians take in this game. I've put on their board the last five, last five games. As far as I'm aware, that goes all the way back to 2001. So read into that what you will. The Samoans edged the last five, three to two. The most recent game, if I'm not mistaken, was 2014, which is almost a decade ago. And that game was 24-13 to Italy, I think in Italy. But then they also played that same year in Samoa, if I'm not mistaken, and it was 15-0 to Samoa. But again, we're talking almost a decade ago. Only a couple of the players that are playing now were uh were playing back then so um yeah average score for what it's worth is 18 13 to samoa across the last five games as i said going all the way back to 2001 what were you doing in 2001 um i couldn't find any bookies odds for this one sadly in terms of a point start but the rugby forecast algorithm has got the italians by one point so predicted to be a pretty tight one this one is on at two o'clock in the morning in new zealand so i will in all likelihood watch this one very much delayed it'll probably be getting up at four in the morning for the new zealand uh wales game and then uh, catching up on this one a bit later but like i said i do like the looks of both these teams on paper it's teams we don't get to see play that often so um yeah it could be a bit of a fun one you guys let us know your thoughts pressure certainly on the italians to get it done at home but uh, we'll see how things pan out and um yeah you guys let me know your thoughts i'll talk to you again soon see you later.